My name is Dr Max Dyers. I'm a VMO urologist at the City Adventist Hospital. There are three common diseases of the prostate. One is inflammation of the prostate, which is prostatitis. The second is benign enlargement of the prostate, or BPH. And the third is prostate cancer. Prostatic inflammation, or prostatitis, um, is a significant uh, medical problem. Um, it can affect um, men of any age um, and typical symptoms include um, discomfort in the lower abdomen, uh, discomfort uh, in the urethra or discomfort in the perineal region which is the area behind the scrotum. Um, sometimes men can have urinary frequency uh, and a feeling of incomplete emptying um, and it is quite uncomfortable and difficult to treat. Um, occasionally patients require antibiotics um, over a long period of time um, and um, this is an effective form of treatment in some patients. Benign prostatic hyperplasia or enlargement is a very common condition and can affect up to 50% of people over the age of 50. Um, it uh, commonly has symptoms of poor stream, uh, frequency, urgency, waking up at night time uh, to pass your water um, and a feeling of incomplete emptying. There are various treatment options for this um, condition and they include the tr traditional form of surgery which is TYP or transurethral resection of the prostate. Um, we um, actually place a telescope through the urethra and cut away pieces of prostate tissue um, and we send that off for pathological analysis and at, in the end you are left with a cavity. It is a bit like coring out the apple from the inside. Um, the other treatments or other treatment options for BPH include um, a green light laser prostatectomy. This involves uh, placing a um, telescope in the urethra and uh, using a laser to vaporise the prostate. It uh, is a, a very good treatment for patients who have, uh, um, who have been taking blood thinners. Another option for BPH is Urolift. Urolift is a minimally invasive procedure also done through the urethra where the prostate lobes are pinned back uh, with uh, various devices um, and this um, improves the flow through the urethra. It is equivalent to taking medications and it is an alternative for patients who for various reasons uh, because of side effects or other reasons cannot have medications. The other option for benign prostatic hyperplasia is using steam energy to uh, shrivel the prostate to allow men to uh, pass urine more freely. This is called resume. At the Sydney Adventist Hospital, we have a range of clinicians that are involved in the uh, uh, diagnosis and management of prostate conditions. Uh, we have uh, people who are expert in the treatment of benign prostatic enlargement, uh, uh, prostate cancer and also uh, other conditions of the prostate. Um, we have an excellent diagnostic department, uh, MRI, nuclear medicine uh, and pathologists uh, that are involved with treating prostate conditions on a daily basis. Uh, you can be confident at the Sydney Adventist Hospital that you will have the best and up-to-date treatment for your prostate condition.